Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's Morning Buzz. I'm Isabel Mera. Voting is now open for student council and student government. Check your email for ballots. Voting will end at noon on Tuesday, May 28th, and the winners will be announced at the end of the day, Tuesday. It's important to remember that Memorial Day weekend is about more than barbecues and shopping sales. This Monday marks the annual celebration of Memorial Day. Memorial Day serves as a national holiday for remembering the sacrifices of those who have lost their lives serving in the United States military. Originally known as Decoration Day, Memorial Day traces its origin back to the end of the Civil War. The horrific destruction and unprecedented number of casualties brought by the Civil War led to numerous commemorations of the fallen. Since then, Decoration Day was formally renamed Memorial Day after becoming an official national holiday. However, the spirit of Memorial Day hasn't changed and this Monday we remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and we thank them for their service. What does Memorial Day mean to you? Uh, I think it means like just honoring all the uh, people who served our country in the wars and who passed away. Honoring the men and women that fought for our freedom and that they died in battle or war. Honoring all of those who have like died serving our country, trying to preserve like our freedom. On Monday, the AP Environmental Science and Yes Club took a trip to Thompson Reserve to help the Friends of Hopewell Valley plant over 140 trees and shrubs. We planted some trees um, because there weren't enough trees, and now there's more, and they produce oxygen, they're taken some carbon dioxide. We put some tree sleeves on the ones that were outside of the fence so that the deer don't get them, because the deer do eat the trees if they're little baby trees. So now we got more trees, so... So trees and... More oxygen into the air! I, I fell in the mud, Frank, as you can see. That was my arm. It's a good day. We walked like this path. It, it was a little muddy. Very muddy. Our shoes are... It's evident there. We split into two groups, who's Apes and Yes Club. The Yes Club group got to plant like different shrubs and trees. The other group, the Apes group, was planting trees. So what they would do is plant the tree first and then you put the two around it to keep it to keep from deer and then you put like a sock like netting over it so yeah the birds don't get yeah, okay. so it can grow without interruption. The CHS Art Show debuted on Tuesday night before the choir concert. Here's Alex LeBaw with more. I'm Sully Meyer. I have a self-portrait from acrylic and a pastel drawing of some spoons. I'm Alex LeBaw and I have um, two pieces of artwork in here. I have my Nigerian repousse and my Tugra. This is an art exhibit by all of the visual art students at the high school. These are some Art 1 students, we have Art 2 students, uh, Art 2 projects down this hallway. We have Fine Arts 1, Fine Arts 2, AP Art, Ceramics 1, Ceramics 2, Ceramics 3. We have lots of art classes, amazing talent, a diversity of projects, different approaches, different styles. Uh, we have 2D work, we have 3D work, so this is very exciting. This week's Captain's Crunch features the baseball team. I'm Grayson Russo, I'm a senior outfielder. My name is Dylan Joyce, I'm a senior and uh, I'm a pitcher. I'm Kenny Tagliarini, I'm a junior second baseman. Uh, my name is Mark Papora, I'm a senior shortstop. My favorite thing about Hopo Baseball is really just being around all the guys. We make a lot of good memories together and I know they all have my back. I like being around the guys for practice every day during the game in the dugout. Definitely team bonding, probably dyeing our hair this year, that was fun. Probably just being around my teammates and just creating memories that last a lifetime. My favorite baseball memory was when I was 10 and we played in the Cal Ripken World Series in Bentonville, Arkansas. That was a lot of fun. Winning MCTs last year was pretty fun. My summer team went to the uh, 
World Series in North Carolina, that was super fun. It was probably my first t-ball hit uh, when I was like four or five and definitely winning. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite cereal is Honey Bunch of Oats. Definitely Frosted Flakes. Definitely Honey Nut Cheerios. Autumn Wheat. <laughs> Can you name this week's movie mystery? Thanks everyone and have a great weekend.